want your presence. I didn't say that on Wednesday, but it's a good point. I want your presence, not just your finger, and so that you know we can go and possess the land. And so he created a place in a rock. Remember, he had a cleft in a rock, and he put him in the cleft. And we said the cleft is what, y'all? Come on, work with me. I know y'all checked the notes before you came here this morning. The cleft in the rock. What, what happened on the cross? Jesus was on the cross. What happened? I know he gave it to go, but before all that happened, he got pierced in his side, on his right side. He got pierced. Out of his side came what? Two things. Blood and water. Right? Remember the first Adam went to sleep. Eve came out of him, right? Out of his side. The last Adam went to sleep on the cross. Sleep in scriptures of death. Out of his side came his Eve. Church, bride, the body of Christ is Eve. By the blood and water. Same thing that happened. Blood and water is significant in scripture. Blood has to do with the covenant. The water has to do with the washing of the water of the word. That's how we're born again. And that's why he was hid in the cleft of the rock. We're hid in the cleft of the rock. Colossians 3 and 3 say we're hid in God. Right? The devil should not. The only reason the devil get us is when we come out of the rock. The only reason why we have problems is because we won't stay hid. If you stay hid, the devil won't find you. Job 28. Let's go. Isn't that the reason why Jesus said nothing can separate us from the love of Christ? Because we're hidden in him? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's what, that's what it means. That's what it means. <laughs> Everybody always think I'm coming up with a trick answer. A trick. Every, all my questions, all my opening statements and my gestures is always a trick you have. Now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was a simple question. You know, anyway. Uh, look at this thing here. So we need to stay hidden in him, right? Why my glasses? Anyway. Verse 20, uh, 27 to 8. No, 28 to 7. 20. 28 said. Job 28. Job, Job. There is a path. Uh oh, hold on a second. There is what? A path which no fowl knoweth. What? And which the vulture's eye has not seen. I mean, no vultures looking for dead stuff. So there's a path, or there's a place, or there's a cleft in the rock, in Christ. I mean, no, he's that rock that. We, that's what he is. He said, upon this rock I'll build my church. That's the rock, the revelation. So when I have a revelation of who he is, there, no foul can come. Because see, the fowls of the air, we're supposed to have authority over the fowls of the air. Those are the things that come in our mind, but the fowls of the air are the things that come and try to get the seed off the ground. Do I gotta walk y'all through every Bible? Remember he had to keep the fowls? Even Abraham had to fight the fowls. Am I right? He had to beat the fowls and the vulture off the sacrifice. Those are prophetic pictures. The fowls, he told us we have authority over the fowls of the air and the creepy things and the fish of the sea. Those are not necessarily natural. It, they are, but not natural things. They're metaphors and pictures and, 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 and allegories and stuff like that. So the fowls of the air is the things that wants to come every time, like now, a seed is getting sown, want to take it off, plug up from the ground. Said, and there's a path with no fowl, no one, which, and which the vultures eye has not seen, which means that there's things that death can't reign, or, or should I say, oh, never mind, that's good. First thing, the lions will have not tried it. No, the fierce lion passed by. I know now, everybody know this one, right? Can't blow it, right? What, who, 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 who are we talking about? Let's, let's just do it real good here. Who's the fierce lion? Don't say your past. I can roar from time to time. Who's, who's the fierce, who, 
Come on, y'all walk with me. Go in the fence line. The devil, he walking about like a lion, seeking what? Whom he may devour, right? But he can't, when we start maturing, when we start having understanding, and we recognize who we're hid in, then the vulture can't, and the fowl can't, and guess what? The big, big, bad, not a wolf, but the big, uh, the fierce lion can't pass by what God wants to do. Man. Neither his little henchmen, the lions well. Remember, the devil has principalities and powers, right? That's his lions well. That's his demonic stuff. So I'm in my mind, my thought, I want to get to a place where I'm hitting him where the enemy can't find me. Why? Because I'm so swallowed up. And the only way that's going to happen is if his mind be in me. And I started coming to a place of maturity where I myself no longer live, but Christ lived in me. Then I'm in hidden in the cleft of the rock. Then I can say what Jesus said. When you see me, you see the Father. When you see Steve, Fisher and Mama, you may not want to call me an apostle, but you're going to know that Christ is in there. Amen. That's what God wants to get us. That's again hit in the cleft of the rock. That's where God wants to take us where we're hid. It is a place made available for all of us. He said, I go to prepare a place for you so that where I am, you may be also. And we made it where he will be or where I will be also. No, no, no. Because that's what most of the uh, funerals we go to talk about. They prepare a place and some physical dwelling in the next dimension. But it's not that prepare a place. The Father's house is the people. Now in this age, at this time, we are the Lord's house. Hebrews 3 talks about that house. He's, he's the Lord over that house. And that's the house we're becoming. We're hidden him. That's my goal. That's why. And see, if it don't happen in you, it'll never happen for you. If you don't meditate on it, if you don't give yourself to it, if you don't let that work work in you, the will and the do of his good pleasure, you will never exemplify the very thought. It'll remain as a theory. If you don't adjust and adapt in your thinking, it will be a theory. But if you let it have its perfect work on the inside of you, then all of a sudden you're going to be changed. I'm be here in the twinkling of my eye. That's what God wants to get us. Anyway, let's go next. Nehemiah. That's what we stopped over Nehemiah. We looked over Nehemiah 8. Chapter, uh, verses, ooh, I don't know. We kind of went all in there as well. But we found out one key thing, that they went to a street that was in front of the water gate. Mm -hmm. So that straight street, we need to be by some water. So you need the water. Yeah, we need water. So like God told us a long time ago when we started transitioning into the kingdom and start understanding and hearing things you couldn't hear no other kind of way. That you wasn't going to get it in seminary. You wasn't going to get it on television. You wasn't going to get it on podcasts. You wasn't going to get it on iTunes. The guy started telling us he's going to increase our water level. Amen. We need the water level to increase. That's why we're still dealing with some of the stuff. is because the water level had have, have increased. Then that path I was talking about is easy when the water level increased. So we got to be brought to that water level. And then it said, he gave them understanding of the book of the law. That's my job, is to have a people who are willing to understand. Because see, wisdom builds, knowledge fields, but understanding establishes. You need to know what you know. You got to know what you know. And that's what they call apologetics. You got to know what you know. I'm not raising ignorant believers. I'm sorry. You may not want to go Greek, Hebrew, and all that stuff, but there's enough English for all of us. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Pastor, I always want to Greek it up. No, no, it's enough. I talk in our language a lot more than I talk in Greek and Hebrew. But that's what the devil will do. He'll marginalize you and try to muzzle my mouth. So that you can't hear things. He started saying, he just deep. I used to have to apologize for it. I, I, I did. Now, not to y'all. I'm just talking about me. So, so don't wipe right it off and just be honest. I used to be like, dang. And I wanted to be like, people call me Creflo. People call me Apostle John Edgar. People was calling me all kind of names. I was trying to put on people armor. 
Until I got around people like Apostle Tim earlier and told me, be you, man. God has given you ancient past. Just give up the same God called you to be. Yes, who you are. And I broke that mold. Now I can stand flat-footed and tell you what I'm hearing. And I can tell you what I'm seeing. So I don't have to. And like I said before, uh, I am an amalgamation of everybody that laid hands and spoken to my life and who I've connected to. So I'm not a self-made man. Amen. So I'm not only I'm not just giving you stuff that I don't know or haven't had it proved. And when I get something, I got enough friends around me I can bounce it off of. See, most of y'all ain't got nobody around you because you can't bounce that because you ain't getting that. So you want to get people around you who can bring you up to the level of your understanding. Most folks in the church, they, they want to have all the teachings so they can look down at everybody. Give it. Follow me, my groupie. <laughs> so we got gospel groupies in the church. <laughs> the wine salary. <laughs> the wine salary. salary. <laughs> you know, there's everybody popping course on, on wine and everybody, you know, drunk as you suppose. But we got everybody around you, they're enamored with your great spirituality, really. Anyhow. That doesn't work all the time. Uh, number four. We also talked about how the bridegroom, remember? How the bridegroom was inviting in the Song of Solomon the bride to go into the secret place uh, in the club of the rocks as well, right? So let's go there. Let's go to Psalm, Song of Solomon, second chapter. So we talked about a street called Straight, but metaphorically, we're talking about a, a, a street in a. Uh, I'm, 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 how to put it? I'm, I'm, the word I'm hearing, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm not embellishing, I'm expanding our understanding so we can be able to have the whole volume of the book, so we can be able to say, so I can read that, and I'm giving you the, 